Hi, thank you for joining this talk. My name is Pu Xuan. I'm very glad to introduce uh, our paper, Cross-Lingual Language Model Pre-Training for Retrieval. Uh, this, is, this work is done with my mentors and collaborators from um, Baidu Research USA during my internship. So the core task of this work is an old problem called Cross-Lingual Ad Hoc Retrieval, CLIR. Basically, we want to rank documents written in one language given a query written in another language. Uh, the motivation of our work is that pre-trained language models such as BERT are the dominant force in monolingual IR. However, it was found that multilingual BERT does not work well for CLIR. And we wonder why, and we want to shed light on this new, on this old problem. In this paper, we address two important research questions. First, how to make multilingual language model work well in the single tower setting. The single tower model depicted in the right part of the figure means that we encode query and document in the same path. This is the more common approach for re-ranking, whereas the two tower model on the left recently also referred to as dense retrieval is more focused on efficiency and used in first stage retrieval. What is hard about using single tower in CIR is that the input of the model is always a sequence consisting of two languages. The other research question is that how to align long sequences in multilingual language model. Since our work is built based on existing pre-trained multilingual language models, we want to give a brief overview. Multilingual BERT is uh, basically the same as BERT, but it's trained on more than 100 languages using the MLM task. And the XLM proposed by Facebook uh, is in addition trained by translation language modeling, TLM. And note that the TLM here requires a large amount of uh, parallel uh, sentences as training resource. And some previous work has discovered that uh, the word and sentence level representations, the MBERT and XLM are aligned because different languages share the same encoders. And we noticed that this model's success is only validated on word and sentence level tasks, such as cross-lingual natural language inference and sentence classification. Therefore, we think that representation of longer sequences are not well aligned from just training using MLM or TLM, which causes the unsatisfactory performance on cross-lingual document retrieval. The contribution of our work is that first, we propose two novel pre-training tasks to enhance multilingual language model for retrieval. And then we describe how to use multilingual wiki as weak supervision data to support the aforementioned pre-training tasks. In addition, we also adopt long former to CLIR to solve the unique document lens problem. Finally, we show that our method can be adopted beyond CLIR. The first pre-training task we introduce is called query language modeling. The idea is that after concatenating query and document into one sentence, we mask a large part of the query and let the model predict the mask the query terms based on foreign documents. The idea is uh, motivated by the query likelihood model, where the query is assumed to be generated based on words that appear in a prototype document. Specifically, we increase the masking probability such that uh, we make it hard for the model to infer the masked uh, query terms based on unmasked query terms, such that it has to reference foreign documents to make uh, accurate predictions. The second uh, pre-training task is called relevance ranking. Basically, we want to compare the relevance of two foreign documents with respect to a query. Here, the query is in, in, in the source language and two documents are in target language. And one of the foreign documents is relevant to the query uh, and the other one is not. And basically this uh, relevance ranking task directly resembles downstream CIR task. And the only difference is that this is trained with pre-training data instead of real query document data, which brings us to the next topic. As you might have noticed, our model is not self-supervised because we need to know if query document in two languages is relevant or not. 
inspired by the inverse clause task for modeling called pre-training, where people select a passage and then they sample a sentence from this passage as the query and the rest of the passage as relevant document. We propose multilingual ICT. The idea is that given two parallel documents S and T in two languages, we sample a sentence from S as query and treat T as relevant document. And now the problem becomes how to acquire quality comparable documents in considerable amount. And that's where we turn to multilingual wiki. Note that the multilingual wiki is a comparable resources, but now it's not a parallel resource. As you may or may not know, different language versions of the same wiki entity are always not directly translation of each other. And they are not even organized to have different structures. But there are correspondence among sections. Here we make an assumption that two sections are comparable if their heading embeddings are similar in the cross-lingual word embedding space. Therefore, we pair two sections if their headings embedding similarity exists as predefined threshold value. Uh, one more issue before we move to the experiment. Uh, we all know that due to the square complexity of self-attention, BERT has a strict uh, limit on the input lens. Uh, in modeling OIR, researchers are able to bypass this limitation by first fine-tuning the model on passage level data. And then during inference, they chunk the long document into pieces and aggregate their ranking scores. But in cross-lingual IR, we have no way to bypass this issue because there is no passage level, pre-training or fine-tuning data for us to use. Hence, there is a unique document lens issue in CLIR. In this work, we adopt a global plus sliding window attention to encode longer sequences with similar resources. This means that the query tokens have global attention that it can attend to all the other tokens in the sequence. However, document tokens can only attend to local uh, tokens within a small window. In practice, we are able to use GSW attention to encode documents more than twice as long compared with using full self attention with a similar runtime efficiency. In the same time, we see much better ranking performance due to less information loss during pre-training and fine-tuning. The main evaluation task is CLIR. There are three stages of, of evaluation, pre-training, fine-tuning, and evaluation. The model is first pre-trained using our proposed data, and then fine-tuned using the training set of the clay data set. And then we report the map performance on the evaluation part of the data set when the model yields best map on the validation data set. And we group competing methods into four groups. Group one is unsupervised methods that rely on query translation. Group two is the traditional supervised term matching learning to rank models. Group three are general purpose uh, multilingual language models such as multilingual BERT and XLM. And group four are dedicated retrieval oriented multilingual language models that are proposed in this work. And here are the overall results. Feel free to pause and read the, doc, uh, read the charts more carefully. But overall, we are able to achieve 14 to 30% improvement over multilingual BERT in terms of map on different language pairs. And here, although our model is not designed for extractive QA, we still see significant improvement over multilingual BERT and XLM in terms of F1 and EM score on MLQA dataset. Finally, in an attempt to understand the direct cost of improved CLIR and CLQA performance, uh, we performed two additional experiments called cross-lingual sentence and document alignment. The goal of this evaluation is to test if a multilingual language model is able to map parallel sentence or documents very close to each other in the shared multilingual space. If you, as you can see from the results, we show that the models pre-trained with our proposed pre-training tasks and data are able to significantly re boost the alignment performance compared with base modeling of BERT. The improvement is, is especially impressive on document alignment 
which is essential for document retrieval. In conclusion, we show that retrieval-oriented cross-lingual language model pre-training can promote long sequence alignment across languages. We also show that multilingual wiki serves as a good comparable resource for large-scale training, and the knowledge learned from wiki is transferable to other domains. We also show that long form is viable in CIR and in generally is very good for retrieval. And finally, by, uh, by the additional studies, we show that more cross-lingual applications that need long sequence representation alignment, such as cross-lingual plagiarism detection, document classification can benefit from our work. Due to time limit, we can list all the details. So for details regarding training analysis and ablation studies, please refer to our paper and feel free to contact me for any questions. Thank you.